Well, good morning and thanks for joining us today for our live Monday edition of Virginia This Morning. How many pair of jeans do you have in your dresser right now? Think about it. One, two, three. Okay, several. It's probably bulging. Expert stylist Kenya Gregory takes denim from the bottom drawer, elevating it to the front of the closet, demonstrating how to dress up your denim. Kenya, it is great to see you. It is great to see you, too. I was not kidding. If it were socially acceptable, I would wear jeans just about every day, but you, you might give us excuse to do that. I, I just might, and there are so many great things that you can do with jeans. Working with statement pieces, statement blazers, your accessories, a great pair of heels and a vibrant color, embellished tops, yeah. and your jewelry. That really makes a difference in taking those jeans up a notch. Okay, so we don't have to just save them for Friday casual no, day anymore. No, and depending on your work culture, you can wear them to work. Okay. So... We have a great look here to start with. She looks dynamite. She does. Brianna is wearing these dark denim jeans. So when I put this together, I was keeping in mind that we're dressing up the jeans. Darker denim is always a dressier look. Okay. So I wanted to show the vest look because this spring, vests are very much in. And belting your blazer or your vest or your top, adding a big, nice belt, that really is a great statement piece. And that totally glams up the outfit. Scarves, scarves are also another great accessory mm -hmm. that make your jeans go to the next level. And then I added a cute little bracelet um, on her wrist because again, your jewelry, her crossbody handbag, another way that we're elevating her look and you got to get a look at these great heels so they're they are pretty fancy yeah they're fancy and they're fabulous and so this whole look adding her hat gives her a very pulled together stylish look with her jeans okay she can go many places with this look and she looks great she does she looks fantastic the key here is that with the jeans and the fit of the jeans yes. you have um, kind of a, a looser option on top that you're bringing in with the belt but the jeans yeah. are pretty fitted they are these are the skinny jeans ankle cut, so it's a very fitted look. So up top, you're right, I didn't go tight. I made it a little bit more blousy, but cinched her in the waist to give her a nice silhouette mm -hmm. and just gave it a nice flow from top to bottom. She's taking me out of my comfort zone in two ways, and I'll explain how okay. vests make me nervous. <laughs> oh, no. And belts, even though I have one on today, yeah. make me nervous. But with it looks great. Yeah, it really does, and you totally can rock this vest. I did it with long sleeves, but this summer you're going to see it with short sleeves, so it's gonna be a sleeveless look as yeah. well. She looks great. Okay, she does. we've got another model we're gonna take a look at. And Kenya, you actually are illustrating a look today too. I am. You have jeans, and you even just whispered to me, I didn't know if I should be wearing jeans I today. I did, and you know what? The reason I'm doing it is because obviously we're discussing jeans, yeah. but I'm also displaying how you work black with jeans and how it gives a very sophisticated look. And also a structured blazer, which I'm wearing in strong shoulders. Mm -hmm. That's another key when you're wearing jeans that really adds to your look. And this is a, a tailored blazer. You know, it has a little ruffling in the back. So it's a peplum style. Right. So just not a plain boxy blazer, but I wanted to illustrate jazzing it up some. Because that's probably one of the key things to keep in mind. It can go schlumpy in a hurry. Very quickly. And another thing, you know, ripped jeans and distressed jeans are very popular right now. If you're going to do that, you want to make sure that you're going to pair them with really dressy tops. Because if you're going to wear the ripped jeans and distressed jeans and pair it with you know, a sloppier or not as put together top, then you're not going to look like you're in a polished Outfit. It's all about the balance. It is. Okay. Yes. Got another all beautiful right. model today. Jenna. Jenna is wearing a look that I absolutely love. So what I did here, I took the logo or graffiti t-shirt mm -hmm. and paired it with this great tweed blazer. So I like kind of doing casual with more of a high style when I'm wearing my jeans. And then it's really important. She's got a great statement bag. It's a structured handbag. And yeah, turn for us, Jenna. That looks great. And I also matched her handbag with her belt so that we can see it picks up, it complements the brown there, and then her bracelet. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to pull it together. And then, of course, these shoes are dynamic. Okay. This yes. is your hot heel, the electric blue. She just looks fabulous. I mean, 
depending on her office, maybe they're a dress down Fridays, she could totally pull this off. And this is demonstrating what we just talked about, that she's gone with the t-shirt option. Yes. But if she didn't have that jacket on, even though she's got the dynamite heels. It looks more casual. It would look casual. Yeah, it would. It wouldn't look as dressed up, but she looks very stylish. She could go to a party like this. And again, the jewelry, it gave her a nice long necklace. So she just looks very elegant. Mm -hmm. You know, she's wearing, actually, I will note, I put her purposely in a lighter uh, color of jeans, but I wanted to show that with this, even this lighter color, even though darker or dressier, I was able to play with this and still give her a very polished, dressed up look. Mm -hmm. It's that balance because even though they're casual and kind of fun with the yes. little zipper yeah, details, oh yeah, totally she's got fun. all this structure going on. What's the number one thing that you have to keep in mind when you're getting ready to, to get a pair of jeans? If you're going to work them into not a relaxed look. The fit the fit it's so key it's very hard to find the right fit you have to know your body you know if if you're not comfortable in the skinny jeans then go with a straight leg if you're going to work a bell bottom you have to kind of know how that top is going to match it's going to pair with that with those jeans mm -hmm. because the fit makes all of the difference. There's a lot of people watching right now who say, you know, I'd really like to find that great pair of jeans, mm -hmm. but they're not comfortable in jeans because maybe they haven't found the right fit. Right. And you have to try, try, try. So when you go into the store, look at the skinny jeans, look at the crop ankle, look at the straight leg, the boot cut, the bell bottom, and look at the wash. Mm -hmm. That's very important too, because certain washes don't look good on everyone. Yeah. So I know I prefer a darker denim, and you have to play with that and totally figure out, do you want the low rise, the high rise? All of that is going to come into consideration when you're putting together an outfit with jeans and trying to make it dressy. Yeah. And don't be afraid to, afraid to try on 50,000 pairs no, oh, and you got size, to. Does, you size have to. does not matter. You have to. You have to have fun with it. That's right. Try as many. And sometimes certain jeans work better for certain occasions. Okay. So you have to, you know, your, your wardrobe should have an array of jeans. I have my flare legs and skinny jeans. So you have to have, you know, different... Mm -hmm different options. That's why I have to throw some leg into closing that bottom drawer. Thank you, Kenya. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. Thank Thanks, you. ladies, for being with us. Everybody looks terrific. Great ideas.